All right, everybody, it's bonus round time, and my opponent is a familiar face to me, maybe if not to you guys, Karen Brown. She's a now repeat winner in the um, tournament group on Facebook. Okay, first move is in from Karen, 30 points. I can live with that. Let's see what it is. Grapey. Uh, well, I have the one vowel, and I would love to keep it, but it doesn't feel like I'm going to be able to keep it. Um, I'm probably looking at playing something like Tawny here or Prawn or something. Um, I could just play this. This is really funny. If I were to just play this and go for <laughs> absolutely gargantuan S play, I would keep my vowel, but of course, um, this doesn't feel as good as something like Prawn or Tawny. Tawny, I guess, be getting me a couple extra points. Uh, I think wanty, wanty is a word too, but given that Karen's next play is almost certainly going to be parallel to this A, I reduce her score a little bit, I think, by playing the T up here instead of the W. Just makes plays that, that only go into that spot, score a few fewer points. So um, I'm so tempted to just play Pwn for a number of reasons, but I guess I'll go with this and see what happens. Like the, the real issue with this is just with my S here, there's no good S hook on the board, whereas with Pwn, there's a huge one, but I don't, I don't I, I'll live with this. Let's just hope I draw a bingo through, excuse me, through something on the board. And okay, I think, um, pretty sure this is a word in the UK English Dictionary of Gardens. Yep, it is. There's also Tanadars through the A. So, um, oh, two A's. So I drew a bingo through an A, and there's two A's to pick. So it feels pretty likely I'm going to bingo on my next turn here. So that's a stroke of luck. Uh, all right, Karen's here. Um, I haven't even finished my session. Okay, so there you have it. Nice J play there. But I am going to respond with a bingo here. Of course, she just played two tiles and two tiles only here. And I'm putting all this good stuff out in space, including this nice S. All these other good bingo tiles, there's so many of them. Pretty much every tile I'm putting on the board is a useful tile to play through. So I'm going to need to hope that she, maybe she had a ton of consonants, five tiles that aren't so good, because I could easily imagine her playing a bingo immediately here. And I just drew toiletry. <laughs> so uh, seeing that pretty quick here, toiletry in this spot, this feels very, oh, wow, it plays to this R with the Y in an even more useful location, in fact. So, um, yeah, you can see the Y going both ways would be 76. Um, so that's pretty good. Let's see, what else do I have here? P, I don't think. Not quite like politely. It's not quite there. I need two L's, not two T's. Feel like that's probably the only bingo toiletry to the R, but I, well, you could imagine a play here. If Karen does not have a bingo, she can play something through here, and that would block both of the R's. So that would be like the nightmare scenario here. As long as if she plays something here, I'm... Um, home free and even if she plays bingos and stuff here pretty much any of these will still let me bingo in response <laughs> so um let's just hope i don't get that uh crushing blow where she blocks all of my stuff in one go here oh man i just and i just x'd out of the game <laughs> she's she's definitely there she's definitely here playing so let's see where did she end up playing all right, there you go. So that is a uh, outcome I can live with. So then I just get to play toiletry as long as I'm not missing anything. 
I hope not. So this game is going well. We've bingoed twice. There's not a lot of luck, or sorry, not a lot of skill involved with the rack management and stuff like that when I'm just drawing incredibly well. Okay, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that I'm not going to be, to be bingoing on my next turn. Um, it's going to start to be a little bit trickier. Um, and I don't think I have a really good parallel play here. All right, there we go. She's there. She's playing. Um, fair enough. Intrudes. So the game is more or less even now. Um, my tiles are not great. A play that would score pretty well would be something like this. In, in I mean, 29 points is okay here, especially given that I don't have very good letters. But this is just so scary, especially because Tav takes an A. So Tava, any play going across, this overlapping potential is so damaging. It, pretty much any set of decent scoring tiles that she may have is just going to hit so hard there. I'm not sure I have the, the stomach for a play like that, frankly. Um, I'm tempted to, I, oh man, I don't quite have a place to play ob ovoid, which would be amazing. This O, it doesn't quite help me. Um, ah man, I could play bovid here, just get rid of, um, I want to use one of my two O's. I want to use the V. I want to use the B. This play would do that. Doesn't really score very much uh i could play boom here that's kind of nice 31 <sighs> that's a lot it's a lot of points i don't love keeping this v the V doesn't have a great future here, but 31 points and not opening anything that great seems all right. I worry about getting crushed on this spot here. It would be very, very easy for Karen to have something in this spot going down that hits super hard, but I don't know. Let's go with it. I hope I'm not missing anything too big and see what we get out of the bag here. Not good. That's not good. <laughs> so not a great draw of the four consonants here. So um, probably we're probably looking at something here next turn, something like grid, just to get rid of as many consonants as we can and not completely score no points at all. But this is, um, I mean, I guess I could also play something like vid here. For 26, I guess I would consider that just in, in some chance if Karen doesn't play here herself, I might want to do it just to prevent her from getting anything any bigger in that spot. So, oof, we'll see. This is, uh, um, I got out to the fast start, but things have slowed down for me quite a bit here. Uh oh. So I'm already trailing. So either she got some kind of massive overlapping play or another bingo. Okay, there you go. That's pretty big. Pretty big overlapping play. Um, so now all of a sudden I am down. This is here. So I have that to help me, I suppose. So I'm probably stuck here playing something here unless I... I don't think I even have a good play starting with the D that I want to put on the board. I guess if I was going to play anything here, it would be div for 24, but those same letters would play here as well. And I probably want to use one more letter if I'm doing that. Oof. Yuck. <laughs> this is tough. Uh, these plays are both pretty uninspiring. 
Um, I guess the saving grace here is that I'm not yet really trailing by super much, so I can just, I don't know, is this worth doing here? I don't have any hooks to this. It takes an A, an E, an S, an I, an O, <laughs> a lot of stuff. Um, and I'm a little worried that Karen played Fez here. Could play Fizz in the same spot, so she almost certainly does not have an I and maybe two E's. Still, I'm not sure I have the appetite for this. This feels way too aggressive to just be opening triples like that. So I guess I'll do the slightly more defensive positioning, and I don't know. I'm going to need some kind of crazy good draw here. Both blanks are still to come, so maybe I'll pick one. Nope. Um, but I guess some of these letters are nice. Um, so I have some kind of cool. Well, I guess something like Grok. I actually could put the E here too if I wanted. Grok is okay. Oh, this is kind of cool. I could play Kerr mode. Is this worth it? I play Kermode here and try really hard to score 28, keeps a G, which we don't like. Um, I don't know. Tough to distinguish between all of these plays. I guess maybe Karen. <laughs> uh oh. Um, all right. There, there goes the bingo. Um, Now I am in trubs. Feels weird to leave this whole thing open, but I'm trailing now, so I might have to. Both blanks, too. She could easily have drawn them. Uh, I think this is a word. Yeah. Man, I kind of have to play this, right? Grok is 30. This is 42. Not down by that much. I guess I could still get saved by the blanks. And this is a good combination if I'm able to draw something with K, R, A, whatever. That's going to score well here. But uh, I admit this is, this is, oops, I think I want to play this. I admit I'm in some trouble here. <laughs> It's funny after the start I had um, bingoing twice in quick succession, but things have gone downhill. So let's see what we get. Ah, yeah, bad news. Not very good. Um, so I continue to be in some trouble, and Karen is here, so I guess <laughs> just we can just wait just a moment for her here. All right, things appear to be going from bad to worse here. Uh, at least it's not a bingo. Uh, nice play there, though. Um, just popping that X down, blocking a little bit. Uh, man, do I have a... I guess I could play something like this. That's okay. Can I really not go any further down here? Oh, I really need it. I don't have like, oh, it would be so nice to play like kill a bit here. I don't think I have anything. So what do I want to keep here? Um, let's see the U situation. There's still two U's. I could draw the Q, but in general, I really would prefer not to keep the U. If I would prefer not to keep the U if there are so many more lurking. Two more is a lot. 
Uh, this, I feel compelled to make this move. I guess my issue with it is that I am making a nice big S hook here. Well, the three out of the four S's are on the board. So I guess I'm not super concerned about that. I'm also going to be in trouble anyway if Karen has the last S. So I guess I'll play this. Um, I don't know. It seems all right. Uh, he says grudgingly. <laughs> All right, let's see. I need a blank bad. I need it bad. Let's see. Mm -mm. And I blocked. Uh, oh, wait a second. I was going to say I blocked isolator through this S with my previous play, but I now have potentially... <laughs> I can play this if it stays open, which is is very important <laughs> that I get this down. I really, really need that play. Uh, let's see. There's nothing playable from the P. Oh, there we go. So right away, um, my dream is uh, ruined. Nice play of pick there. Um. Well, I do have stuff here, I suppose. I can make an aggressive opening by doing something like this again and hope to draw an S, hope to draw that last S and some blanks. This could be reasonable. Without an S, it's not possible for her to block all the way just because Tau is sort of cutting off um, the two spots, right? So you can only, without an S, you can only go so far as here which will not allow her to block both spots. But again, that's completely contingent on me drawing an S. So <laughs> it's not it's not ideal. Um, yeah, it's pretty grim, but I think I have to go with tool here. And again, time's running out. I'm going to need a good draw. It's going to need to have that S or blank in it, and preferably both, if I'm going to be a threat in this game. Okay. Um, that this is good. I'm not sure I actually have playable bingos here, unfortunately. I have fairies and freesia and a couple other things, but they're not actually gonna fit. Um how about from the T I don't think so. Um all right, so this opens up some opportunities here because I can play stuff like this now. I could play this and score okay, 32, but I probably need to keep the S or if I'm going to do it, maybe I need to play this just to create a new threat here. Oh, man. Um... Maybe I'm supposed to just play this, and that way I preserve this S hook. The S is huge. Like, I really don't want to close this spot, I don't think. Even though I get more points by using the S, it's the last S, which makes this spot particularly annoying to deal with. All right, let's see. Things going from bad to worse. Benny for 30. Obviously, a blank bingo could have come down at any time here, so I should consider it to be a lucky break that it hasn't. Um, I got the last S. That's good. Um, saving it for jails feels reasonable. Um, I guess I can look through T here. Oh. Oh, man. I don't know if this is a noun or an adjective. <laughs> I sure hope it's a noun. <laughs> wow. Okay. So I really don't think I would have had the stones to try this over the board. Because Theodary is a word, and I would have just assumed it was an adjective. So this is uh, Scrabble Go working in my favor, and it's an 100-point play through OD. 
<laughs> oh, that is lucky. Oh my god. But I guess a little bit of skill involved in thinking to put that on the board. Theodary is a is apparently a noun, but it is a seven letter word that I know better from study with an anagram of forayed. Uh, but uh, apparently it's a noun. Um, I did not draw a blank though, so this is still pretty grim. But if you look at the unseen tiles, you can see that maybe she'll have like, oh, this is still kind of bad because if she plays something with SQU, I'm still going to be in trouble. If she plays, well, Squire or something like that, I'm going to struggle. You know, I have I have a play that burns through a lot of my tiles here if she empties the bag and scores 22, leaving an E, which would play here. Or here, but uh, there's still I even though I'm just super lucky to have reversed my fate in this game with a nine letter word that's pretty rare for me. <laughs> I don't play too many words like that. Um, anyway, um, <laughs> we'll find out what happens from here on out. Jeez. All right, score is close, too close. Oh man, she plays screw for 38 to go up by five. Okay, this is, <laughs> oh man, brutal. Q-U-U-I-N blank. Yeah, good play. Um, she can easily just play her QU through this I if I don't block that spot. She can just plop down QI, QIN in the top corner. So I think I'm going to lose this game no matter what. She, she has too good of a pair of plays with the Q. Let's try to figure this out, though. So, whoops. Um, so Q, right, this is what I was going for. So Quinn would be, well, she would play Quine for the extra points, probably. So 50, I can't outscore that. 50 points here. QIN up here would be 36, 44. <sighs> okay, let's see. I'm down by five. She is going to score 50 or 44. <laughs> so that means I need 55 points ish plus I'll get a point or two from her <laughs> 55 points all right let's see I could play this 29 so I would therefore need with A N E, I would need like 20, another 20 ish points. This doesn't make it any better.
That's a lot of points. So if I do this, let's figure this out. So I do this. 28 points. So I'm, I would then be up by 23. She scores 50. So I'm now down by 27. Then I play here for 26, and I collect two points from her. Well, okay, that's great, but what if she plays Chin instead? Okay, so if I play this first, then she plays. So again, I'm up by 23. Then she plays up here for 44, meaning I then... 44. Whoops. My microphone about to die. Okay. This mic has a whine to it, which is why I was using the other one. All right. So um, she'll play for 44. I would be up by 23 prior to that. Then I'll be down by 21. Now I don't have a good V play up in the corner because Chin is there. So down by 21, I beat something like 19 points with this. All right. Um, let's try this. This first. 26 points for this threatening a 28 point play how does she deal with this with while also using her q there's no real good q play there so if she tries to block somehow what would she do q u i she uh she could play quip Okay, so if I play this, 26, I'm up by 21. She could play quip in that spot, which would also score quite well. So it would be 10, 11, 12, 24, 32. This feels pretty grim. 38. <sighs> So what was this again? She's going to score 38 there. So I play 26 to go down by 21. She plays for 38 to go back up by 16 using one, two, three of her tiles. So she would have two more tiles. She would have four points worth. So I would need... I really should be writing this stuff down instead of doing it all in my head. This is why score sheet. This is why we use the score sheet. Okay. Plus 21 minus 17. I need, I think, 13 points with this. This might win. <laughs> I certainly think it wins. So if I play V up here, I play V up here and I go up 21. And then if she plays down here for 50, I go down by 29, but I'm getting 18 for this plus her extra point. What am I missing? 
All right, I don't know exactly what I'm missing, but this feels like my best shot at it. I think this beats both Quip and Quine in this spot, so we're just going to go with this. Uh, and if she surprises me with some other thing, then so be it. I think this is definitely my best shot at it. Um, so we'll see. I think I might win here after the plays that I'm spotting for her. But we'll find out. <laughs> All right, let's see. What play is this? It is the play that I expected down there. And the score is I am trailing by 29. <laughs> so if I play this, I score 28, and I'm going to get four points in the bargain on my margin. So it looks like I just just barely squeak this thing out by the skin of my teeth oh my god crazy yeah watch the scores so even with that sometimes it has a little glitch you can see i just barely sneak ahead wow <laughs> that was a pretty epic game um so the history here, though, is that Karen beat me in our first matchup. You can see here. Um, she beat me, but I, for whatever reason, I do not know what happened to the video footage of this game. Uh, then we played another game in which I just bagged her so bad. I drew so many bingos in a row. Uh, and now we had an absolutely, and thank you so much, I will let her know, amazing game, um, which it was. So, oh man, I certainly enjoyed that one. Hope you guys did too. Um, I'm going to go back through the game, see if I missed anything. I think... Um, Certainly that end game felt pretty clear that she had the queue and a couple obvious spots to play. And I just had to come up with enough points to squeak it over the finish line there. Um, could easily have missed stuff early on. I'll put it in the margins on screen. But uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, and until we meet again for the next bonus round. Catch you later.